I'm about to leave for Roubaix, France, Paris in seven, no, four hours. And one of the topics I want to cover before I leave is the importance of tapering. So in case you don't know what tapering is, tapering is reducing your training volume and reducing your training volume before uh, an event you'd like to peak for. And this, this pertains to anyone trying to do anything competitive or you're trying to get the best result possible. So I'm trying to, trying to broaden this. It could be a marathon, it could be a 5K, it could be a two and a half K. It could be racing in the UCI Masters World Track Cycling Championships. One of the things I found in my 53 years is for endurance athletes in particular, the notion of tapering was unheard of. And here's the thing I found is in endurance sports, and probably all sports, more this, this prevailing notion of more is better. For endurance athletes, more training volume means it's gonna make you stronger and therefore faster, blah, blah, blah. I certain, certainly believe that, but didn't believe in tapering until just a few years ago because I was trapped in this mentality of, oh, I gotta keep up with the Joneses and I see what this person's doing and I see their workouts online, and, or I see their Strava. I don't, I don't follow Strava, though I'm on it. That all, that all stuff, that all internal chatter, really is causing more harm than good. And the reason behind that is, is everyone is different in the sense that their lives are all different. You don't know what athlete A, B, or C, what kind of life, stress, life stressors they have, what kind of um, rest they're getting, what kind of other 10 million mitigating factors in their life that affect their performance and whether or not they have the same ones as you do. And in this case, in those cases, you don't because you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, yet you're a Smith. And so this is when I finally embraced the idea of tapering because ironically, <laughs> I saw other athletes doing it and thought, well, what I was doing wasn't work, working. And in theory, what I was doing was overtraining and I knew that. And I knew that you need to have rest before you are at your peak. But here, but the problem is, is again, you're, you're, you're caught up in this old mentality that more is better. And when I finally broke that cycle, where I, what I started doing was tapering a short block of time because I didn't want to go all out and risk getting weaker before an event and you don't and and the one thing i found is the older you get the more rest you need flat out everyone i would say 45 is a new 35 so anyone under 45 you have more of a chance of being able to recover faster but if you're over 45 i would make a blanket statement saying more rest is better so take that, I'm 53. And for my, me, it was finding the optimal taper length and volume. And so in general, you want at least a week out of reducing volume, but not intensity. Ideally, two weeks where you start to wean off in, let's say, two weeks out from your, your main event you start to reduce your training volume, but the intensity is still the same. And in the week out, you reduce it down to ha about half. I've, I've seen, seen uh, people mentioned reducing the, at two weeks out to 20%, and then one, one week out, reducing another 20%. So a total of 40% reduced volume. So 60% of what you actually do. And, and, and that's fine. And that's, that's, I would say that's a very safe and very conservative ballpark, rule of thumb, but everyone's different again and try that. So, and, and, and why, this is why tapering is important and why it took me a long time to embrace it and f actually feel the, the benefits. And that's the thing, you gotta try it. And, and when I say try it, you have to 
trust the process, but more importantly, realize that everyone benefits from this. You can't, I, I, I would think about, I'm, I would, I'm reminded of the times when I was racing criteriums and I was pretty good locally. I'll never be, I would have never been great nationally, but I remember like, you know, everyone would ride hard all the way up to like Thursday before the Saturday criterium, you know, take Friday off. Wow. And think that that workout you did on Thursday is going to help you on Saturday. It wasn't that workout on Thursday might help you weeks later on, on other events, but it was not going to help you two days out because you're tired, blah, 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 blah. And, and, and again, it goes back to everyone needs rest. Even if you were an 18 year old guy on, a, on the elite team, I'd argue any success you have without taking any rest, re rest is the, any success was done in spite of, not because of your high volume all the way up. But I can't speak to that because I was never an 18 year old elite athlete. I am, um, but I can't speak to what it's like to be a competitive athlete on on the world level when over 50. I think very few people could argue that I don't have that experience or that knowledge. So tapering is very, very important. How much you need to taper varies. But like I said, at the very least, take five days off. Reduce the volume. Keep the intensity up. And try it and see how you feel. When you take two weeks off, you feel much, much better. You don't realize how much fatigue you build up during your normal training. You think that that, that pump or that feel or that, that feeling of working your legs is making you stronger, but what it's really doing is making you tired and it's not gonna help you two weeks out. Like again, like that analogy or that, that, that I made of racing on Thursday and uh, uh, training on th hard on Thursday, all the way up to Thursday, taking a day off and racing on Saturday, that workout that two weeks prior to that Thursday, that Thursday or two weeks prior is only going to help you for events down the road for strength you would have built. But if you really, if that Saturday race was like your A race, like the Clarendon Cup or the Tour de France, taking the time to taper off will have done more for you than working all the way up until 48 hours before your, your, your big event. I can talk more about this. There's just so much minutia to tapering. <clears throat> but again, you need to experiment, but know and have trust in the process that it works and everyone benefits from rest. Thanks for watching.